Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from salad, sandwiches, and chafing dish recipes of 1916, we're going to be making the pickle sandwich. And no, it's not like that viral pickle sandwich where the pickle's the bread. It's, it's a different one from 1916. To make our pickle sandwich, we start off with whipped cream, mayonnaise, freshly shredded horseradish, chopped pickles. Get that mixed together. Now we put some of that mixture onto buttered bread, of course. Sprinkle with chopped cooked beef. And more of our pickle mixture. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's give this pickle sandwich a go. It is pretty pickle forward. Um, it is tasty, actually. And the mayonnaise and the whipped cream obviously bring in a little bit of richness. The really good punch of dill. And then you've got this little back note of uh, kind of a roast beef flavor. That's pretty good. I do want to plus it up, though. I'm going to add a lot of black pepper. I think that's going to go really well with everything in here. Okay, let's give this pickle sandwich plussed up with a lot of black pepper a go. That is nice. Now we're getting a little bit of a bite from the black pepper. That's going well with the tanginess of the dill. Playing off the beef really nice, playing off the creaminess of the mayonnaise and the whipped cream really nice. Mm. So here's the thing. This recipe is 1916. It could have been made with homemade mayonnaise, but 1916 is about seven years after mayonnaise started being sold in stores in the United States, so I just went with a jarred one. I don't think it would have made a huge difference here because of the strong flavor of the dill pickles. But I gotta say, the original pickle sandwich, that was actually pretty tasty. I'm gonna give that a seven and a half. Plus up with a lot of black pepper, it's easily an eight for me. I dig it. I'm definitely gonna finish that. I don't think I'll make this again just because of the process, but it was still pretty tasty. All right, see you tomorrow.